I just believe that animals are more in touch with their sixth sense than most humans are. She is a psychic superstar! So who are you gonna call? <laughs> but maybe these psychic visions are also just a bunch of hogwash. I'm Kara, the manager of Ralphie's Retreat. We love pigs, and this is a pig sanctuary. In our little corner of the world, people care a whole lot about animals, and pigs are no exception. They have so much personality. They're social, playful, clever, and they can get themselves into a whole pile of trouble. Sometimes, I think they're living in a world of their own. The past few days, the sanctuary's had this really weird vibe. There's some unsettled energy on the farm. And if I can feel it, you know the animals can feel it too. You don't want to see me when my hair all stands up on end. I just turn into a little spike ball. You know how they say that animals can sense when a storm is coming? Birds huddling in a tree together, cats hissing at thin air and dogs hiding under the bed for no reason. But there always is a reason, even if you can't see it. I believe that animals are much more in touch with their sixth sense than most human beings are. So when my pig friends are as unsettled as they've been all week, I call the one person I know can help. Pigs are very sensitive creatures, and they can pick up on subtle things that humans miss. Sometimes this is a blessing. They can tell when a storm is coming and take shelter, but other times it's a curse. Pigs are very sensitive by nature, and this makes them vulnerable to carrying trauma from past experiences. Their emotions are very similar to ours. They experience the same things, happiness, sadness, pain, fear, anger, joy. Who, me? Oh, I know what you mean, never mind. Their memories are excellent and they don't forget things easily. So any abuse, negative interactions with humans and animals, confinement, these are things that stay with them and can affect their lives. Helping pigs work through their trauma is probably the biggest and the most important job we do here at the retreat. Each pig that comes here has their own history, and each case requires a different approach. Oh, you want to hear about history? Well, I've got some stories for you. One time, oh, we, we don't have time. Uh, okay. When pigs come in that need to heal, we have several different ways of helping them. It can start with adjusting their diet to make sure that they're getting the proper nutrition. Another thing that we do is work on socialization. Friendships are so important and are a huge part of the healing process. Integrating pigs is not for the faint of heart. It's actually quite traumatic for everybody involved. So when new pigs come in, we always take our time. There's a couple of really important rules from integration. You always do it on a full stomach and you always let them have more food when they're getting to know each other. That way the pig thinks, well, I've got lovely food, I've got a full belly, Oh, and I've got a friend too. Works every time. I firmly believe in the conventional rehabilitation methods, but every once in a while, something will come up on the farm that requires a more um, eccentric approach. Hey, Izzy, how are you? I'm doing good. Brought the stuff. Oh. There's some doozies in here from my Moo Moo collection. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh. That fits exactly with what I have in mind for you. So Kara came up with this wacky plan um, to help the pigs work through some of their issues. Because a lot of these pigs come and they've been from abusive situations, neglected situations. I, I like to think I'm a bit of an empath with these pigs. I, they, I seem to really understand sometimes what they're thinking and how they're feeling. What I'm gonna try to do is uh, work with them through processing some of the trauma they've had as, as pigs. These are awesome, but this is the one. I like the wizard sleeves. I feel <laughs> exactly. powerful in the wizard sleeves. Right on, that's exactly what we need. Let's suit up and I like let's it. get going. Okay, <laughs> so let's do fun. it. Gentle pigs, 
I give you Izzy Wizzy. Well, that fell a bit flat, didn't it? You got your smoke machine with you? Sure do, it's oh. always in my car. Kara and I were trying to bring a lot of lightness and fun to the situation, but one of the pigs was in a really dark place. At first, all I had were glimpses. Someone on the farm needed to pass through a doorway to step out of their darkness and into the light. Someone on the farm needs a psychic oinkervention. But who? When Izzy had a psychic flash today about a doorway, well, my first guess was that our troubled pig was Annabelle. I can see how that made sense, with them knowing some of the hang-ups I've had about my weight in the past. Hey, Annabelle. Annabelle, this is Izzy Wizzy. Um, hi. You can clearly see that she is not a big pig anymore. She's got her oh. beautiful piggy hourglass figure, and she's not that huge, huge pig that she was when she arrived here. I just wish she understood that. I do understand that. She's come a long way, and we just need to build up her self-esteem. Thank you so much, but I know that Big is beautiful now. The door used to be closed, Annabelle, for you, but the door is now open, and you can pass through the door freely into your pen and into your new life here at the sanctuary. As soon as I made contact with Annabelle, I knew she wasn't the one feeling bad. There was also a low voice coming from somewhere telling me there was still a twist to come. The amazing thing was, when Izzy touched me, I could see somebody else's vision too. I'm just so happy to say that it wasn't mine. I didn't need a psychic intervention, y'all. And that felt pretty sweet. Who's Rupert, Annabelle? He's the co-owner of my hair salon, and he's my good friend. I can't wait to tell Rupert about your psychic powers. Ah, uh, you know I don't believe in that kind of thing, Annabelle. But Izzy's only trying to help somebody, Rupert. And I can't fault her for that. Look, I'm up for helping, Annabelle. What can I do? Well, who could Izzy oink review next? I mean, who's been feeling low around here? Well, Gus has really been wallowing in the mud since the two of you broke up. Oh, poor Gus. I do wish my ex nothing but the best. Izzy's vision showed a pig in a really dark place who needed to find a new ray of light. So maybe this'll be for the best. Send in Izzy and Gus's direction? Yeah, maybe it will be. But maybe these psychic visions are also just a bunch of hogwash? We'll see. Living here in Norfolk County, right on the edge of Lake Erie, it's beautiful here. So we love to host visitors. Welcome to Ralphie's Retreat, where we're gonna take you on a magical journey around the sanctuary. Maybe not a magical journey, but you will get to meet some of the amazing characters that call Ralphie's Retreat home and learn about what we do here at the sanctuary. Pigs don't see very well, so if you rush in there, oh, woo, the pigs are gonna get really upset and they're gonna disappear. Well, how would you like it if I burst into your home waving my arms around all crazy-like? Sometimes the first comment that I get from kids when they visit Ralphie's is, I don't like pigs. Have you ever met a pig before? And they'll all say, no, I've never met a pig before. And I said, well, look, tell me afterwards how you feel. Pigs are really sensory, so, you know, they feel prickly and they make funny noises, so children really enjoy them. They also don't realize just how sociable they are, you know, and a lot of kids will say, wow, it's just like my dog. So at the end of the tour, I always say to the kids, did you like the pigs? And to this day, I don't think I've had one child who said to me, oh, no, I still don't like them. I'd tell them I'd break their knees if they said otherwise, so. Unfortunately, most people are not able to have a pet pig because of where they live. So when they fall in love with one of our pigs, one of the best things they can do for them is to sponsor them. And one such example is our little Izzy, who's sponsored by um, Georgia. And uh, Georgia absolutely adores Izzy. And every time she comes to visit her grandparents, she comes to Ralphie's to give uh, Izzy some love. 
Another thing that I'm particularly passionate about is working with people who are dealing with grief. The pigs are very, very sensitive, and we get a lot of people who come here who've experienced terrible loss in their lives, and they will just sit with the pigs and just soak in that therapeutic interaction that they're willing to give. I think it's a really, really important part of the work that we do here. One of the reasons that I think that people connect with pigs is because they are so similar to us. If you've had children or had any interactions with young children, you will find that pigs interact with humans very much on the same level. They have the same temper tantrums, they have the same personalities, they feel the same emotions that we do, so it's very easy for us to connect with them on a, a higher level than perhaps some other animals. I'm really, really proud of the unique experience that we can provide to visitors to Norfolk County. This is the only pig sanctuary in Norfolk County, and in fact, it's one of the very few pig sanctuaries in Canada. So I want everybody to visit us and learn all about them. The energy on the farm the last few days has been, well, off. Everyone's been noticing it, even Kara. She called in Izzy, a psychic medium, to figure out what's going on. Wouldn't you know it, that medium came straight on over to me. I knew I wasn't the one bringing down the vibes around here. But luckily, it only took Izzy a simple touch to figure that out. I sure do hope she can sort this whole mess out. Annabelle and I want to help any pig who might be feeling stuck in the mud. So we sent Izzy for an oinkervention with Gus. You see, ever since Annabelle broke up with Gus, uh, that old guy hasn't been doing much other than sleeping all day. Let's go and see Mr. Gussie over okay, here. Okay, let's go. So yeah, the energy of everyone today is a little bit different, and I'm wondering if it's because of my outfit. It's like I'm a new person coming onto the sanctuary <laughs> for the first time. It does kind of feel yeah. like that. Yeah, I think uh, our Gus man here, we definitely should spend some time with him. I don't know whether you can check in. He's, you know, as, as I've told you before, he does have some fairly, um, you know, advanced neurological issues. I've been laying here for a week. I think I'm starting to get bail sores. Hey, Gus. My name's Izzy Wizzy, and I'm an empath. Well, my name's Gus, and I'm a broken heart at divorcee. So I put my hands on to Gus and saw more of my original vision. That dark room beyond a door. <laughs> New glimpses of a metal cage and maybe the paws of a dog. I know, it's a bit strange and unsettling. I can see it all too, but Izzy, there's a twist. It still wasn't my vision. It belonged to some other pig on the sanctuary. When Izzy touched me, actually, I was filled with an incredibly positive feeling. I mean, look at me now. I'm standing on my own four feet again. Gus felt just terrible about his breakup with Annabelle. He knew, in a lot of ways, that he was responsible for her unhappiness. But I just touched Annabelle just before Gus. So a part of her was still lingering. And maybe it did Gus some good to feel what Annabelle was feeling. It was a warm and forgiving light. I knew that Annabelle was in an emotionally great place. I'm in an emotionally great place. And that Annabelle wanted me to forgive myself, too. I want you to forgive yourself, too. So maybe it was kind of an oink convention after all. <laughs> wow. But, but wait a minute. What's the twist? Yes, why was I hearing that phrase? The twist. Everywhere I went. Was it some kind of psychic clue? Again, I really don't believe this kind of stuff, but this next part was kind of mind-blowing. Izzy had that first terrible glimpse of something, and she followed it through the doorway of Annabelle's mind, and then through the doorway of Gus's mind. But what was the twist, and what does it mean? And would you believe that I'm the one who figured it all out? You see, 
I've always loved listening to music, especially the oldies. And I know there's a singer whose biggest hit of 1960 was called The Twist. And there's one pig here who's been hiding himself away from us all lately. Especially from us dogs. And that pig is named after that 1960s singer. I'll let Kara tell it to you. Come on, bud. This is my friend Chubby Checker. Chubby and I have a really special relationship. He's He's had a pretty rough life, and uh, when he came here, he was a very independent soul, and we really bonded, so much so that the other volunteers actually couldn't get anywhere near him, and we still kind of have to be a little bit careful. I'm fine. No cameras, please. But maybe Chubby Checkers isn't fine. <laughs> maybe he's in need of some psychic or intervention. The vision that Izzy kept seeing wasn't coming from Gus, and it was mentioning something about a twist. That's when it clicked. It must be coming from Chubby Checker. So I pointed Izzy in his direction. Give me one second. I heard these guys over here want some strawberries. Oh, <laughs> cool. Oh my God, Izzy read our minds. Like she literally read our minds. I know. If you could see the cartoon thought bubble above my head right now, it would literally just be a picture of a strawberry. Hey guys! She is a psychic superstar! Oh, in season. Now, with Annabelle and Rupert's help, I feel like I am closer to having the bigger mystery figured out. Chubby's never been the most outgoing pig at the sanctuary, but now he's been isolating himself a lot more. Lately, Chubb seems to be really triggered by dogs. And I don't know why. Seeing him go into that dark place, though, well, it's been Rough. Nothing to see here. Turn the cameras off, guys. No comment. No comment. Huh. I see Rhonda and I see Rudy, but I don't really see Chubbs anywhere. Where's Chubbs? He's probably in his house. Like he's oh. kind of a, I don't know. He's, he's got some baggage, and so he was living in a junkyard. Oh gosh, he was so, so emaciated when we got him. Oh, it was gosh. just tragic. Yes, and so when I came in earlier, I stood outside of his pen and I just sat, took in the surroundings and listened. And I could just hear a lot of chains clanging and gates clacking. And I think that's probably what triggered him. Izzy could feel waves of psychic energy coming off of Chubby, even from a distance. She had a flash that Chubbs grew up around a mean, junkyard dog. Hey, I get it. You have a run-in with one bad dog, and it can scare you for a long, long time. I lost an ear to a junkyard dog. I hope Chubby Checker knows that he can always come and talk to me. Can we go in? Yeah, um, I would treat him a little bit differently to some of the other pigs, because like I said, he isn't, you know, that comfortable with people. So I'd probably just kind of keep your space with him and, uh, yeah. you know, I'll, I'll stand with him and make sure he's okay. Yeah, he's a bit of a mama's boy, so Aww, I'm sure uh, between the two of us, I'm sure he'll be okay with it. Let's go see if we can find him. Okay. Chubby! Chubby! Are you there, buddy? And while Izzy was reaching out to help Chubby check her, I've got to admit that whether she's really psychic or not, Izzy had already brought some healing to an estranged couple of pigs. Hi. Hi. It's good seeing you standing up again, Gus. And it's really good to see you too, Annabelle. I mean that. Izzy touched me, and she gave me some insight, and, well... I just want to say sorry for, well, for everything. Oh, Gus, we had some good times, too. We really did. Come by the salon sometime. Let me trim the hair off that chinny-chin-chin. I might just do that. Every little pig's got to step back into the sunshine sometime. Uh, uh, uh. 
Izzy's sixth sense was picking up so much emotion from poor old Chubby. This is a really tough one. I see chains, I hear chains, clanging, chaotic sounds, cold, hungry and starving, uncomfortable, nowhere to lay, nowhere to relax. It's uh, just really heartbreaking to go to these places. Uh, these animals have been through a lot. Chubby's been through a lot. He really hard. I'm fine, guys, I'm fine. And I can leave my pit if I have to. Can't I? Well, that makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he's also had a pen change recently, so, oh, yeah. you know, that's definitely gonna be unsettling. Yeah. We just have to convince him that he's not in a cage anymore. We want to give Chubby all the room we can give him to feel what he's feeling, but we don't want to lose him. Izzy had been saying it since the beginning. Somebody had to step through a doorway, but they had to step through it for themselves. Reaching out mentally, I told Chubby that what he was feeling was okay. I told him that he had every permission to work through his feelings at his own pace. I also told him he needs to know that we're out here no matter what on the other side of the gate. And that the sunshine is still out here with us. And then I remembered something really simple I learned from the guinea pigs. Sometimes all it takes is a strawberry. So I'm gonna set a few out here, make a little trail, and we can see if we can get Chubby to come out of his shell a little bit. I feel like this should work because Kara's not here, and these strawberries are great motivation. his own. That's awesome. <laughs> so we got Chubby to come out of his his house, his safe area. He ate some of the strawberries. He came out. It's not the end of the story, but it's a small victory for Chubby, who has a lot of issues to overcome. So I think that's really good. Out of the darkness and into the light. I'm glad they called. After her psychic intervention, Izzy bumped into Annabelle and Rupert on her way out. I think what happened next was her way of thanking Rupert for his help. Oh, bonjour, Rupert. Comment ça va? Très bien. Hey, but how did you know that I love to speak French? Well, you're from Montreal, aren't you, Rupert? Maybe this isn't hogwash after all. I mean, Chubby Checker certainly seems to be feeling a lot happier. Look at him out there in the sun. Look at that pig twist. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Come on, baby, let's do the twist. You a happy little piggy. You get twist like this. Oh, 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 o